This is your Fox 10 News Now update. Hi everyone, Eric Reynolds with your Fox 10 News Now update. There are reports that President Donald Trump is planning a visit to Mobile to rally for Senate hopeful Tommy Tuberville. The runoff election for the Republican nomination is July the 14th, less than a month away. Tuberville is running facing off against former U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who held the seat, by the way, for 20 years before becoming President Trump's Attorney General pick. The rally this time, though, around is being seen as a blow for Sessions after the president and he had a falling out after Sessions recused himself from the Russia investigation. CNN is reporting the rally for Tuberville will be held at Ladd Peebles Stadium, the same place that former AG Sessions campaigned for then-candidate Trump in 2015. But both city officials and Ladd officials say that no one has reached out to them about the reported rally. Former Attorney General Jeff Sessions, meantime, responding, tweeting, Alabama voters will not be told how to vote and that the president might spend his time being uh, focusing on, on his own re-election campaign. As it stands, the president has an 0-2 record for endorsing senators in the state of Alabama. Sessions hopes that that trend stays that way for this runoff election. Meantime, the Mobile City Council's Administrative Services Committee will take up the issue of race today. There is a proposal on the table to remove the word race from official documents or forms. Council member Fred Richardson wants to replace the word race with ethnicity on those papers. He says that race divides people based on skin color and promotes hate. Councilman Richardson says that the word ethnicity reflects the origin, history and heritage of a person's ancestors. The Administrative Services Committee will meet this afternoon. The city of Mobile also being fined $25,000 for taking down the Admiral Sims statue. State Attorney General Steve Marshall saying the city broke the state law by moving the monument, but said that the state will not sue because Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson has agreed to pay the fine. The statue was delivered to the History Museum of Mobile on Sunday. According to the museum's director, Meg Fowler, the eight-foot statue weighs nearly a ton and is now in storage until they're able to figure out what to do with it up next. Well, protests and demands for police reform sweeping the nation in the wake of both George Floyd and Richard Brooks' death. The family and attorneys of Brooks are calling on Americans to peacefully protest and take action to make reforms. And change could come soon as lawmakers continue to work on police reform bills. The House Judiciary Committee will hold a markup of the justice in the Policing Act tomorrow when lawmakers will debate and rewrite parts of the bill. A Republican proposal will also be introduced. It's expected to be voted on on June the 25th. Today, President Trump is expected to sign an executive order on police reform. The order would establish a national certification system for law enforcement agencies. It would also set up a database to better track the excessive use of force by officers nationwide. The executive order would also incentivize police to have mental health professionals and social workers respond to emergency calls along with the officers. Also happening today, the Senate Judiciary Committee will hold a hearing on police use of force and community relations with attorneys and police chiefs among the witnesses. I'm meteorologist Michael White in the Fox 10 Storm Tracker Center. A look at the satellite radar composite over the last 12 hours. Only a few spots picked up an isolated shower. Most of that has already faded away. And you know, in the morning time this time of the year, it's very rare that we see any sort of problems. And it's unlikely we have any issues today for the first for the start of the day. 68 right now in Mobile with a north wind at 5. Pensacola, you're at 73. You've got a north wind at 7. Dew points are sitting in the mid 60s. So for June, that's pretty low humidity and the sky is starting off clear. Here's a glance at your weather headlines for this Tuesday. A dry morning ahead. As far as rain, we may run into a few showers and storms this afternoon. Tropics for now are relatively quiet. Baldwin County, your temperatures are going to crank up later today. No surprise, you'll be flirting with 90 degree territory by about 2 o'clock. There will be a few scattered showers to dodge later today and then those will 
will fade away in the evening hours. Your 11 o'clock temperatures will be in the low 70s from Daphne down to Gulf Shores. On the eastern shore, sunshine this morning, 69 at 6 o'clock, upper 70s by 8, so warming up quickly. And then Mobile County, you'll see temperatures around 90 later this afternoon. A few showers to dodge, not many. And then as we head into the nighttime hours, expect mid to low 70s from Sarah Landa Theodore at 11 o'clock. Now we will run the future cast for the entire Gulf Coast, and we're going to be talking a lot more about how things are going to shape up for this weekend. Stay tuned to Fox 10 News throughout the day for the latest updates. This has been your Fox 10 News Now update.